so much freshly caught and all that. I mean, there's usually a glaze and it's over some kind of like mashed potato puree and like broccoli. Just so. mm. Yeah, that's fancy. Yeah, that's fancy. Mm. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's I should have noticed how you cooked it, because I would love to be able to cook it and then come home. It's so simple. Is it? Mm -hmm. How do you do it? I just, um... So I just buy raw salmon? Yeah, from the butcher, okay. preferably. But if you get it in that long slab, that's fine. Okay. And you just cut it into these pieces, you know, like little rectangular pieces. And then, um, I just season it with garlic, salt, paprika, and oregano. Okay. You could put honey. I didn't put honey this time just to see, you know, how it would turn out. And then you put some olive oil in the pan, just enough to cover it. Throw the pieces in there, and then just, I throw the skin on first. So I season both sides. Okay. And then throw the, the skin, skin side first. first. Yeah. Okay. So that way it gets nice and crispy. Okay. And then once it gets dark enough, I flip it. And then dark enough. So how does it start looking? And then... Like, it, the, the skin just looks more scaly it's not like dark you don't see any browning on it okay but then once you start to see like that dark brown layer so you're kind of peeling it up to see that it's getting dark That's yeah like, check like i'll flip uh okay and then flip back if okay you, if you need more time okay and once that looks dark enough then you flip to the other side mm -hmm. how do you know it's fully cooked all the way like salmon's done you can kind of tell um about how thick the piece is like thinner pieces cook super quick you know okay. but like a piece like this one like uh I'll usually have it sit, so I'll flip it on this side, then flip it on the other side, and then I'll have it sit on the um, uh, the thinner rectangular side, and then do the same thing on this side, and then try to hold oh, it. Oh, yeah, because you kind of have them up. I've seen you do that before. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you kind of get it on all sides. So I'm hoping that that cooks it. Does the texture through. change? Like, I know shrimp is real slimy, mm -hmm. and then it hardens up when it's mm -hmm. done. Does the texture of salmon change when you know it's cooked through? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know the difference. Well, yeah, I think it gets just a tad bit drier. Okay. But when I fry it, it tends to be pretty moist just by nature of the olive oil and stuff. Okay. So the texture is pretty much, you know, similar. Similar. Okay.